This tutorial covers the basics of gameplay for End of Nations. There are many more advanced features and strategies to learn after you've mastered these basics. I'm playing as a Liberation Front Faction Spartan Class Commander. Depending upon your class and faction, your units, tactical structures, and commander abilities may appear different in the loadout tray. This is how you can select your units on the battlefield. You can left click the unit on the battlefield. You can left click the unit in the loadout tray. You can draw a box around them on the battlefield. Or you can select all of your units wherever they are on the battlefield by clicking Control plus A or hitting the Select All button. After you have your units selected, in order to move them, right click on the battlefield. Most units within End of Nations will auto attack as enemy units come within range. If you want more control, you can always right click enemy units to attack them directly. If you lose track of your units, you can always right click the unit icon within the loadout tray to focus the camera on that unit. It's important to capture control points because often that's how you get increased resources, map super weapons, other special abilities, or in some cases, it's how you win the map. To capture a point, move your ground units to that location and stay there until the point turns green. Aircraft are unable to capture points. Units also have unit abilities. To use a unit ability, left click the icon above the tray. Some are offensive requiring you to target an enemy, while others are passive. To build a tactical structure, first left click on its unit icon within the loadout tray and then choose a location on the battlefield by left clicking. You cannot place a tactical structure if the placement square is red beneath the structure. To use a commander ability, first left click its icon in the loadout tray and then left click a location on the battlefield. Some maps also have super weapons. These super weapons, once captured, will be located at the top of your screen. To use them, left click their icon at the top of the screen, and then use them like you would a commander ability. When a unit is destroyed in battle, you'll notice that they turn red within the loadout tray. To reinforce, click the unit in the loadout tray and it will be dropped off at your currently selected landing zone. Units will cost different amounts of tactical resources to reinforce. End of Nations uses a traditional rock, paper, scissors mechanic. When I click on the Titan tank, you'll notice that its information panel appears on the right hand side. The green icon means the Titan will deal extra damage to that unit type. The yellow icon means the Titan will deal above average damage to that unit type. A gray icon means the Titan will deal normal damage to that unit type. While the red icon means the Titan cannot attack that type of unit. In this case, the Titan cannot attack air units. Thanks for watching. After this video ends, you'll be taken to our tutorial, Assault on Widow's Wall. If you want to view this video again, click on the Help button in the War Room.